Hi, I'm back. Uh, so the Tom Jones one came to a very abrupt end. My fault. I just don't have the patience of Annie. I'm sorry, guys. So I'm not going to reread the entire chat. I'll just start off from uh, where he goes. The internet world is such a risky place. You have to be careful. I just can't. I can't just come online to say hi. I'm too busy for that. I I have only two pages, which is my official page and my survey page, which is where I met you. Others are my fan pages. If you want to see the complete start of the chat, see the previous video. All right, I said, sure, I'm aware of the internet. That's why I'm skeptical of everyone, especially people claiming they have a public persona. They are silly to do so, given that it would be easy to disprove and discount. I never understood why they did fake celebrity profiles. I mean, how stupid can someone be, especially approaching a fan? Laughing emoji. Now, remember this guy left his location on, right? That got me bothering too, he says. I always try to figure out why. To which I said, well, everyone knows why. Tom even made posts about it. To which he responds, yeah, I had to make the post because it got frustrating. I had to make sure more people fall for that trap. <laughs> Freudian slip, I think. I said, yes. So when they know, uh, so then you know why they pretend, don't you? I try my best, he said. So try your best at what? Stopping all these impersonators, he said, adding a psychotic amount of exclamation points. I had to report to the FBI, said my fake Welsh singer. I said, the FBI? Don't you mean MI6? And I doubt the FBI can do anything in Nigeria, don't you agree? Now, like I said again, remember this guy's location was set at Nigeria. What is Nigeria? said our scammer pretending to be an 80-something-year-old mature gentleman from Wales who's travelled around the world, including Africa. And we cross-posted, and I wrote, the Nigerian government, however, can, and I know they are working with the American government. No, I don't know, but neither does the scammer. And then to his, what is Nigeria? I said, oh, please, are you or are you not an 80-year-old man who has travelled? Or did you not learn simple geography in school? Obviously not. Hmm. You know Tom has toured Africa, right? Lol, he said. I just had to go through the internet right now to browse that. That's an African country, he tells me. Never been there. I said, no, no, you didn't, in response to having to troll through the internet to find that. And never having been to uh, Nigeria, I said, maybe not. But adults know geography, even if you don't. You sound like a child. Are you 18, 19? What are you saying? Four exclamation points and a question mark. Complete psycho. I said, what am I saying? Okay, that you're a fake, you're from Nigeria, and you're a child playing silly games he can't keep up. You have zero concept of how adults speak. That's what I'm implying. Prove me wrong, but you can't. You'll throw a tantrum now like a child. Well done. You want to know how I knew? Without even speaking to you, you made a huge mistake right from the start. You dumb woman, respect your words, he said. To which I said, you dumb little boy, I blame myself replying, said our scammer from Nigeria. I said, scammer triggered. I said, no, blame yourself for making a really dumb mistake like an amateur. What the fuck are you saying? I will block you, bye. <laughs> To which I said, yes, you made a massive mistake, and go on, you moogle. I hate insults, okay, said our completely triggered baby scammer. I said, oh, scammer got his feelings hurt. You're my moogle today, Omar. He hasn't blocked me, right? So we'll see if he comes back, and we'll see if there's a part three. He may, right? I have dealt with this particular account, though it was under a different name, I believe. Oh, it may even have been Tom Jones. Plane going overhead. Sorry, guys, if you can hear that. Um, so he may enjoy a little bit of back and forth banter and insults throwing. So I'm not going to delete him yet. Now I want you to meet Robbie Williams. 
Hello, big fan, love heart Rose. I'm so excited for the love and support towards my career. M- uh, more love to you all, my fans. Don't forget you are my family and my number one, one in brackets, priority. Thanks, dear love heart. I really appreciate your support. I would love to know more about you. I wish these guys would use punctuation. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry, but are you claiming to be Robbie Williams? Which he love hearts. On... Thanks for your kind words, he says. You seem to be a very good and lovely person. I must recommend you for that. Thanks for being a fan of mine, love heart. Kiss, 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 love heart, love heart, he says, not reading what I wrote. So I said, the green, green grass of home gives one the platitude of oneness. Having just finished with Tom Jones, you see, so I was feeling nostalgic. To which he responds, to be sure that you are talking to the right person, let's talk on my verified Telegram account. I said, I don't do Telegram. It's only used by skeevy people, which the idiot love hearts. Which country are you from? He asks, ignoring that. And we'd cross posted. I said, it is the number one app used by unscrupulous people next to WhatsApp. And in response to which country I was from, I said, I'm from Moorpork in Tasmania. To which he responds, Telegram is very easy and fast. So I use Telegram because my other social media handle, my management are going through it. Whatever that meant. I said, it's also the number one app used by unscrupulous people. And in response to I'm from Moorpork in Tasmania, he says, Oh, kissy face, hope you will never stop supporting me. And have you been to any of my shows before? Get the Telegram app downloaded and register. It's very easy and fast. To which I responded, yes, I saw you at the AFL Grand Final, which the Muppet love hearts because he's got no idea what I'd said. And in response to get the Telegram app, I said, you're not reading or comprehending what I'm writing. That much is obvious. I'll not repeat myself a third time. Thank you. Which the idiot love hearts. Anyway, he says, how are you doing? I must say that I have enormous respect for you considering the manner in which I have made contact with you. I am very glad you are a fan of mine. May God bless you some more. I would love to have you a free ticket whenever you am in your home zone. And if I'm much free, we can hang out for dinner before my show. It's always been a huge pleasure to have time with my fans before my event. To which I responded, I'm terrific. On holidays, so I'm skating over the floorboards to see how long before I break through to the concrete. And in response to that long ass whatever that was, I said, when will you be in my home zone, as you put it? Should I check your official dot com account? It has all all the dates for the next 12 months. To which he responds, we can only keep in touch with ourselves on Telegram. Chat, my management must not be a we are. Aware we are <laughs> so badly spelled. I said, I'm not repeating myself a third time if you won't accept or read what I've written. And in response to should I check on your official dot com account, he goes, Yes, feel free, but don't text me there because I'm not going to respond to your message. Completely not knowing what the Robbie Williams dot com account is. I said, and I'm sure Ada might object. We'd cross posted. And in response to not responding to my messages, I said, no problem, goodbye then. And I wasn't speaking about your verified account. I was speaking of the website. There's no messages there. Don't you know this? To which he responds, I don't. I said, you don't know about your own website? Robbie runs it. I only use Telegram, he says, to text. The rest of my social media handle is being controlled by my management, he repeats. I said, yes, you keep repeating. However, you created this account, so I'll not repeat myself again. Your choice, I'm not forcing you. Besides, I don't do new apps with people I've never spoken with. To which he responds, same way, I'm not forcing you, okay. I said, exactly. Good luck with this. If you are not ready to do what I asked for, fine, goodbye. I need to attend to my serious fan, (laughs) In, in singular, who are ready to do the needful said no American or English person ever. I said, I'm sure you do, Robbie, in quotation marks, sending laughing emojis. Like I said, good luck with this, mate. Your English is really bad, by the way, just a heads up. Fine, goodbye, said my mortally offended scammer. 
I said, okay, you already said that. So off you go. Again, good luck with getting clients with this rubbish profile and English, which he saw. And then he hadn't blocked me. So I thought, ha, didn't think so. No remittance for you, fool boy. So I'll keep him active for a little bit and see if he comes back. It is after midnight in Nigeria now, so he may not. So that was a little bit of short there. Hopefully we'll get a Tom Jones part three. And like I said, anyone who didn't, see the first half, let me know and I'll do the entirety again, though I'm sure my regulars are getting bored of, of re-recordings. Just check it out in the previous video, the zombie one. So uh, hopefully there's more to come today or tomorrow. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Love you guys. Bye.